Hi again, this is Janet. And Joe. With Grow Shop. And this is the fifth video in our Gear Motor Basics series. In this video, we will be discussing the criteria that need to be considered when choosing a gear motor for an application. Criteria such as maximum input speed, maximum output torque, and efficiency are the first most designers think of. And this reducer reference chart, to which we've provided a download link below, can be used as a starting point in selecting the optimal gearbox for your application. As you look at this chart, you will see the most common criteria listed in the left column. We need to explain the criterion we've labeled limitations. As we'll see in later videos, this will be important in making reducer selections. In general, the output torque of a gearbox is either mechanically or thermally limited. For example, if you look at the limitations for parallel shaft and bevel right angle reducers, you can see they are limited in output torque by the mechanical wear on components. On the other hand, the output torque of a worm gearbox is limited by the heat that is generated within the gearbox, a thermal limitation. If you look closely, you can see the thermal limitation is directly related to the efficiency of the reducer. Looking at the worm reducer, you can see that it has the lowest efficiency rating of all of the reducers. You likely noticed that a planetary reducer can have both thermal and mechanical limitations, even though it has a high efficiency rating. We'll explain why in just a moment. The question that often trips up designers is, what size gearbox do I need for a given torque? This graph roughly shows how much continuous duty torque you can expect to receive per cubic inch of gearbox volume. For our purposes, we'll call this unit torque density. Let's illustrate. The worm gearbox will get about six inch pounds of torque per cubic inch of gearbox volume, while the planetary gearbox gets about 21 inch pounds of torque per cubic inch, almost three times as much. The high torque density of the planetary gearbox means that for its small size, it can be loaded to a relatively high torque. Be aware, in smaller reducers, higher output torques will generate higher temperatures since there is less reducer volume to serve as a heat sink to dissipate the heat that builds up. This is why the torque output of a planetary reducer can sometimes be limited by temperature. These criteria aren't the only ones you'll need to consider when selecting a gearbox. Other criteria like overhung load, envelope size, cost, and mounting options are some examples of specifications that will also need to be evaluated with each application. Let's look at an example of the importance of the criteria for choosing a gear motor. This curve represents the wide range of motor sizes and gearbox ratios that can be used to achieve 130 inch pounds of output torque at a speed of 200 RPM. With so many options, you need to make some choices on the primary constraints indicated by the application. For example, if cost is the main concern, then a smaller motor may be the solution. Just know it could be noisier due to the higher speeds and higher ratios. Some gearbox types have higher costs for large ratios depending on the number of gear stages. This makes the higher cost of the reducer outweigh the savings of the smaller motor. It's these types of trade-offs that need to be evaluated to determine the optimal solution. The takeaway is this. The optimal design isn't on either end of the spectrum in terms of motor size and gearbox ratio, but is usually somewhere in the middle making it critical to weigh the design criteria to find an acceptable solution. We've created a tool to help you weigh out those design criteria. This is our application checklist, and we've provided a download link below. Using this checklist to prioritize application criteria will help ensure the critical information required to achieve a best match for an application is not overlooked. Knowing your application and having accurate ratings for the motor and gearbox are the foundation to a successful gear motor. From the motor and reducer basics we've covered in the series up to this point, you can see that there are a number of motor and reducer types that can be combined. There isn't any functional limitation on the type of motor that can be matched with the gearboxes we've shown. Conceptually, you can really mix and match them as needed. But for maximizing the gear motor, the application criteria are the driving factor. Keep watching as we will show you how to optimize your gear motor with two methods for pairing motors and reducers. For more information about GrowShop, any of our reducers or gear motor products, check out our website at www.growshop.com.